subscribe and Royal Wedding Fallout was reportedly over a pair of tights. It has been claimed that the 38-year-old Duchess of Sussex didn't want and the other young bridesmaids to wear nylons on the day she married. Two years ago on May 2018, a source told that Kate, also 38, took issue with this and pushed for the girls to wear tights, as per proper protocol. Then there was an incident at the wedding rehearsal, a source allegedly close to the Cambridges told the publication. Related articles Related articles Get exclusive celebrity stories and fabulous photo shoots straight to your inbox with OK's daily newsletter. You can sign up at the top of the page. It was a hot day and apparently there was a row over whether the bridesmaids should wear tights or not. Kate, following protocol, felt that they should. Meghan didn't want them to. Pictures from the special day at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, show Charlotte, now five, and the other bridesmaids with bare legs, suggesting that Meghan won the argument. The insider continued by claiming that Kate feels exhausted as she and her 37-year-old husband have been forced to take on more royal duties following. Kate is furious about the larger workload, an insider continued. Of course she's smiling and dressing appropriately but she doesn't want this. She feels exhausted and trapped. She's working as hard as a top CEO, who has to be wheeled out all the time, without the benefits of boundaries and plenty of holidays. And another source slammed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who recently, for leaving their post in the UK, claiming they've taken away Kate and William's chance to be hands-on parents to their kids, six, Charlotte, and two-year-old Meghan and Harry have been so selfish. William and Catherine really wanted to be hands-on parents and the Sussexes have effectively thrown their three children under a bus. Read more The Royal Family Related articles There goes their morning school runs as the responsibilities on them now are enormous. However, a Kensington Palace spokesperson has since come forward to say the report is completely